So everyone, welcome to our new series, Talking Hair Loss. So we've got 12 people, 12 haircuts, and 12 incredible chats about hair loss. Honest conversations in the barber chair about hair loss, thinning, and receding, with some advice from me along the way. With new episodes coming every two weeks, this is Talking Hair Loss. This series is made possible by our sponsor, Manuel. Hi right, guys, welcome back to the Regal Gentleman Studio and welcome back to our Talk and Hair Loss series with Manuel. Today we've got Jamie in the chair. How are you doing, man? Not bad, how are you? Yeah, not bad, thanks, mate. Can't complain. So, tell me, talk to me about your hair loss. What's, what's been going on? So, I got to about 15 mm -hmm. and I started noticing thinning hair wow. pretty much from then. So, okay. quite early. Yeah, yeah. How old are you now? At 20. 20, so okay. It's been, so five years, been yeah. a good five years. Okay, okay. Didn't really do too much at the start to stop it because I was, didn't know anything, mm -hmm. I really looked into it, Okay. but then older I've got, more I've learned, yeah. I started to try to do things to help it. Okay, so what type of things have you, have you been doing? So I started off on finasteride nice. yeah. and I noticed that's what stopped it. Yeah. I then moved on to minoxidil as well, yeah. and then that's when I noticed Brilliant. it coming back, baby yeah, so hairs that, and whatever. That's good for the, for the camera actually, because mm. yeah, well, that's the thing, um, finasteride will stop it and minoxidil will grow it, yeah. and that's why using them combined is what why why you have a hair loss plan mm -hmm. you know what i mean so because it's good if you if you've got like say if you know since starting to thin a bit use something to stop it if you're happy with the hairline and stuff but if you want to bring it back do what you're doing so what, can we have a look what your hair's like yeah, at the moment yeah cool so at the minute it looks like you're using a lot of hair to cover everything up right yeah i take okay. a lot i'd literally take everything from the back pull it forward and just try and cover right. as much as i can and then right. i use hair fibers to uh do you get coverage of the scalp and okay do what i can okay um, do you know what? <laughs> I'll be completely honest with you. I don't know if anyone else agrees on this. Your look, your face shape and everything else and the fact that you're using hair fibers, I think you'd suit a short haircut. I just, when I pulled that away, I was like, wow, you actually, you've, I've, I reckon you, you look like a model with your hair like that. No, I do. I genuinely do. I feel like you've got the look, you've got such a, a strong um, sort of facial features that I think if you went short, and just use your powders, you would be in a whole world of ease mm. after that. I really do. I think not many people suit the hair short. You do suit your hair short. I think you suit it better than trying to comb things forward like this. A lot better. Because I think at the here, because it is so short, and obviously these are the bits that's starting to grow back, right? These, these, yeah. these little strands here are what, all this here is the new hair that's coming back, right? So I think if you work with that, I honestly think you'd suit it really short. I really do. Uh, no, that's just my opinion. You can obviously tell me if you'd prefer that, not to do that. Um, but the only thing is, when you're combing everything from the back and you're basically kind of molding it to kind of work, it's very hard for people like us to cut it like that. Yeah. Because you, you do have to basically just, it's just like kind of, it's just completely tailored to you. And you basically have to tell me where you want that to go from. Do you know what I mean? Because it's not really, it's not something that you look at face shape for. It's not something, because you can't really, you've got to leave with this, make big disconnection and stuff. So you can't make it too high and stuff. Um, but, what what would you what forget what I've said? What would you like to do in terms of hairstyle wise? What would what was it that you'd like? I've always liked having short sides, short back, and mm. keeping it long on the top because then that allows me to use the hair to pull over. Yeah, 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 yeah. And what you've said about having a, a short hair, I think there's a definitely something that can come from your ideas blended yeah, yeah. with mine. Yeah, I just feel the only reason I say that is because I feel when you've because you've got some hair vibers through it there. I feel like if you were to use the hair vibers properly, I mean, because if you look at the front, the front hairline, all right, it's high, but it's not. I don't think it's. I don't think it's. If I looked at your hairline, I wouldn't worry about it right now. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I'd be more worried through here. I think the hairline up here is just you've just gone a bit higher in early age. I don't think it's something that I'd say right. Th this is going to get worse because you're on all the medication. You can see the hairlines growing back. You can see the baby hairs all the way through here. Now, if I strengthen that up. And took the middle bit down. It would look, it would look full. And especially if we just use the hair, hair powders and we position them correctly, you could still have exactly what you want in terms of back and sides the same. And you could keep the top short. But I think you'd really suit a short haircut. I, I just, you, just your face. I think alone works really well for it. Um, but again, you're here, for, you're here for your reasons. I've, and these are just my. Opinions. I'm looking at this from a professional point of view, from like face mm. structure and everything else, and also convenience, easy use, and also I'm looking at it from a, a personal side as well. Because I, I, there is a lot of personal sort of thing that comes into my head as well when I'm looking at different hairstyles for people. Um, but I, I do genuinely think you'd be the kind of guy if you look at that. If we were to, if we were just to strengthen up that fringe, 
take the top down so it was like shorter length I think I just think you'd, you'd look I think you've got youth on your side as well mm. you know a, sh- a shorter haircut like when you've got like what looks like a shaved head like a crop I think it, it, it is it's something that obviously you lose a lot of like you know you lose a lot of things to play around with your hair but you create your own style I, and I just think because of your age how you look we could really make that work for you today especially even with what you're wearing as well very casual I, I genuinely think you could um, I know it's a big ask it's a big job but if you're after my honest opinion, I think that would work really well. I think everything else will, will always look like you're combing it over. Whereas we've got an opportunity here to look as though you've just got a short haircut mm. with a nice strong hairline and you're not losing your hair. I think weighing up the two, I think, I think the shorter option makes more sense, yeah. I would say. Um, because I think if you, and I think if you saw, if we did it and you saw the after shot, you'd, you'd agree. You'd agree compared to the first, the first mm-hmm. one. Because I just don't want to, I don't know how we're going to keep this going like this and making it look as though it's something I just yeah. don't know how we're going to do it because it's always like with the wind as well I'm, I'm walking around with my hand on my head trying yeah. to keep yeah, it holding it down yeah yeah of and course I when, when get I it. don't it's all over here all down the sides and it's just yeah yeah kind yeah. Of give up after like 10 minutes being outside so that's yeah because because if we if we actually look at it from like a if we look at it from like a sort of cut and hair point of view right if I do me do like my sections and stuff you'll see like what we've got to play with or what we've got to cut is like from here to here. So as you can see, it's been kind of cut solid on the sides there. So let's, look, let's just put a section in there if you kind of need to. So we've got that bit there. Then we've got loads of little wispy bits that kind of are just kind of coming from different parts of the head. There as well, the front. And then again, we've got about the same amount on this side as well. So to actually make that work, it's kind of impossible to, mm. to create a style with just them strands of hair on the sides. Whereas I think because of your age, because of the fact you're using powders, the fact that you're now regrowing your hair back, I think embrace it short. Honestly, I guarantee you will get so many compliments. You've got such a strong look. I think you get so many compliments with it short. And, and this, this is going back to that, what I think of like a model look. This is why I think, because remember when I used to do like, like shoots and stuff, and we used to like, I used to like, you know, um, you'd, you'd, you'd get your models and you'd be picking what works and whatnot. You'd be looking for features like yours. Do you know what I mean? And that's and you've got them. So I honestly think if you you could pull any haircut off for your face for your for your features and your face shape without a doubt. And I think a short haircut would help you so much. All you'd be worrying about is putting powders in. But you can get you can get um, fiber locking sprays now where they waterproof it. So even if you're in the rain, it doesn't matter. You can go swimming in them and they don't come off. But you've just you're going to save yourself so much time and effort. You're going to wake up in the morning, give your hair a wash, put your fibers in, you're done. Sounds good. Yeah, should we do it? Yeah. Awesome. Oh, I'm, I'm so happy you decided this because I swear to God it's going to look so good. I promise you it really is. It really is. Um, back in sides then. How short? Doesn't matter. You can go as short as you like. What, what would you like to do? As short as possible, to be honest. I mean, obviously, okay. I, I don't want it completely bare. Yeah, yeah. But like, sort of like one. One, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, what we'll do is um, I'll cut the top down first. So I'll take away all the long bits and whatnot. Uh, I'm going to wash it, obviously, yeah. before that as well because I want to get rid of the fibres so I can see exactly what we're working with. Um, get rid of that and I'll do the number one on the back and sides. What I'm probably going to do for yours, because again, we need to look at face shape, okay? So, if I... So, that's the angle we need to kind of work at. So, we still we still want to keep the one not too... We don't want to go too high with the mm-hmm. one, okay? We still want to keep it at that, at that angle there so we can kind of still keep... And obviously, I know we're going short on top, but I don't want to create this rounded effect. I want to still keep some shape through the corner here. Um, so, I think... One, probably to maybe just below the temple, and then we'll just graduate it up into the top, and I'll just scissor the, scissor the top and make it look like a short, a short haircut. Through the front, once it's all washed, I'm going to look at probably, but I'm probably going to, going to, going to cut these bits in and create a hairline for you, mm. but nice and short though. So it's like, it is like a, a shape there, but I'm going to create your own hairline for you, and then just strengthen it off. So I think, I think honestly, I think you'll, you'll be amazed today. Cool. No pressure on me now. <laughs> but uh, yeah. All right, cool. So yeah, one back in sides. I'll create the height for you that I feel works. And then we'll go from there. Yeah. Yeah. So, man. so before we get into it, we just want to say a massive thank you to the sponsor of this series, Manual. Our first video with Manual worked out so well and the partnership was amazing. So we wanted to bring more videos to you. So if you don't know, Manual is a British company dedicated to becoming the destination for men's health. Manual offer tailored and medically approved treatments for a variety of issues specific to men's health. And obviously it's the hair loss treatments we're talking about today. Best thing about it, it's all online. You visit the website, you answer a questionnaire about your medical history and receive a treatment recommendation. Your information goes to a specialist doctor on the platform and from there you're consulted on a specific treatment plan for your case. You receive the products at home on a recurring basis and with a medical follow-up throughout. Manual were kind enough to send us some of their products and we had their hair loss treatments out on the shelf 
and our Regal Jumpman Studio ever since. So let's go over here and see what they got. So guys, this is the Power Shampoo. This is a, an everyday shampoo, revitalizes your hair. It's got a, a, a sense of stimulation in there as well, so you can really feel it coming, going to work on the hair and the scalp as well. We've got the 5% minoxidil as well. We've also got the finasteride tablets as well and the hair vitamins which I am currently using as well and they are fantastic. And Manual have also been kind enough to offer you a discount to celebrate this series on the channel. The code's on the screen now but it's also in the description if you miss it and the link to follow is also in the description below. So click that to find out more about Manual and their hair loss treatments and a massive thank you again to Manual for bringing this series to the channel. So carry on watching this because you get some great advice and you'll also see some really good finished looks for anyone with any sort of hair loss problems. But thanks again, Manu. So, I was going to just suggest something to you, hey, James. That's all right. So, yeah. um, obviously, having your hair short, you can, you know, washing it every day is not an issue. It's a bit like washing your face every day. Yeah. Right? Have you tried, um, have you ever tried using manual before? No, I just no. used normal Tresemme biotin. Oh, okay, okay, cool. Used. Okay, so that's more probably for the quality of the hair, yeah. right? But because we're going short on the hair now, um, I think you want to be looking at something to invigorate the scalp, right? and to encourage the healthy hair growth, right? Because you, I mean, you are on, on the way. I, I would love to have you back in in like a year just to see where you're at. Because I honestly think you, you I, th I think you're gonna grow you, the majority of your hair back, mate. I'll be honest with you, I really do. Um, but the reason why I'm recommending this is it's called Power Shampoo, right? So this is an invigorating shampoo to coincide with hair loss treatments, right? So you've got caffeine and biotin as the, the key ingredients in this. Now, obviously they're all stimulants, right? Now. They will encourage healthy hair growth. They will encourage quality hair as well to come through. Um, but I think if you're using something that coincides with a hair loss plan, you're going to get the best results. You know what I mean? Yeah. You, as much as you want healthy hair, if you're keeping your hair nice and short, it's going to be pretty much healthy because it's so close to the roots. The oils will be instantly in the in the hair strands because of how close it is to the root and things like that. So I think you 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 look at it in that sense that that is the case. You know what I mean for the hairstyle that you, that you, you know you've been you've been happy to go with. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I think I think it could be a good shampoo to, to work with your already, you know, your routine already. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because you can use it every day, which is good. So a well, little bit of conditioner afterwards, okay? It's always good to do. Just pop a bit of conditioner in. And with yours, you could probably do it because you're keeping it short. You probably do this probably conditioner twice a week, you know. So if you're washing it every day, that's cool. Obviously you're washing the powders out and stuff, but then obviously yeah. you just condition it maybe you know, Monday and Monday, Wednesday, Friday or something, you know. So what I'll do first is I'm gonna just Cut the top in to make sure it all matches, okay? Then I'm gonna work it into the side and back. A bit like what I'd do if I was doing a clipper cut, just with scissors instead of clippers. Scissor or comb for this one. Pick it up and look for the common length underneath. I'm gonna use a darker comb for this. Now, I'll do it to the front. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna cut into the fringe to go shorter, but by the angle I'm leaving it on, I'm creating the hairline myself. Like so. Like that for now. Now, moving over to here, matching the right hand side. Imagine what it's like with the fibres in. Because you, you, it's going to be confusing. You see thickness here, dark hair here, no hair here. Think of what it will look like if it was full, because that's what it will look like when the fibres run. So don't, don't don't try and get confused. Just just keep doing what you're doing. You know what you're trying to create. Forget about how you might you know you might look different on the left hand side. It might look thicker on the left hand side. But we're going to make that all match. I'll give you a nice sort of textured front, more than it being blunt. Okay. So here's the hairline I've created for you on that side, right? Natural, mm. a bit high, but it looks, it suits you, it looks fine, right? There we go. Now I'm working through here now on this side, I'm working into the sides like this. Working down into the sides. So you can imagine just doing this with a clipper, you're just working across like this, you're just doing it with scissor over comb instead. 
if I'm picking that in that I want to go down to, I don't want to risk it by putting a guard on and being like, say, let's do a six or something because six could remove length that I don't want it to. Whereas this, I'm in full control of where I want to keep the length. You could also do this clipper over comb if you wanted to, too. There we go. So just removing bulk at the moment, moving excess length. Now as we get back into the top, I'm going to switch to comb again. Come down this way now. And then just a bit of freehand. Across the top. Yeah. That's your hairline. Now imagine filling that in. It's done. One back in size, it'll look, it'll look completely different. That will suit you so much. Okay. So how did you uh, how did you find how, what was it like when you found that you were going losing hair such a age? The first couple of years wasn't too bad because I was just sort of like the hairstyle that I had was a bit questionable anyway, so <laughs> It was just sort of like one, one of those things. Yeah. But then I got to like 16, 17, 18. And in lockdown, I changed my hair to bringing it forward. Right, okay. okay. And and then, I, I, like a crop almost, like that kind yeah. of crop style, yeah. And then I could see, once I got a haircut after that, I could see sort of where the problems were coming from. And it was just a bit... Not the best feeling to yeah. to be 18 years old and seeing that much change. Of course. Did you build up a, a rapport with your barber? Like, were you did you have a good good relationship with your barber who could kind of help you in that yeah. sense and whatnot? Yeah. I kept going to the same person each time, and okay, yeah. So obviously they knew what the situation was. Yeah, yeah. What needed doing, what needed leaving, and whatever. That's good. That's a good thing. That's a good tip, isn't it? I'd say. Did yeah. you find that worked for you by going yeah. sticking to the same person? Yeah, yeah. Good, good tip, that. Yeah, yeah. And what was it like, sort of, amongst like French friends and stuff like that? Like, did anyone comment? Did anyone ever say yeah. did anything, any mean things said, like, or? Well, in my closest friends wasn't too bad, but sort of like when you go into school and college, it was very uh, sort of like name calling and yeah, you've got this, you've got that. So yeah, that that was a bit tough. Yeah. How did you sort of manage to get through that? I can't say that I've fully accepted it, but I've definitely sort of just cracked on with it yeah definitely like it's one of those things it's happened yeah did you, you talk about it though did you talk really. about it now no i think like it's been said in a couple of the other videos there's such a stigma around it there really is of yeah. like not just men can't talk but especially with hair loss at a, a young age oh yeah it's, it's, never, it's not a conversation is it you know yeah. you think about every go on like if I, I recommend people to go on pinterest and find photographs right it's all ridiculously good looking people with amazing hairlines and everything else. And there's never really anything for someone like yourself, you know what I mean? Like advice on what yeah. to do, you know, there's no one ever really talking about it, is there? Um, you know, there's, there's it, it almost like you said, it is, there's so many stigmas around so many things that if people really realize that it is almost out of your control, people would think differently, wouldn't they? Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So what was the sort of, the kind of catalyst for you to go, right, I'm gonna go on to, I'm gonna start some, uh, some um, you know, treatment for this essentially i think when i just sort of started learning and researching and seeing what could be done i kind of just made the choice straight away that i wanted to try and change something as soon as possible yeah because it wasn't getting any better and it wasn't having a, a good effect on me yeah mentally so yeah. i just wanted to try and get a change in as soon as i could fair enough yeah fair enough and did you do did you do all this like just just Google everything? Did you and yeah, literally yeah. Google finasteride, minoxidil. How did you hear about them in the first place, though? 
So when I was about 16, I went to the doctors to get blood tests done so I could find out sort of what was causing it. Yeah. And then off the back of that, they um, gave us places to sort of research and websites to have a look at. So obviously oh, nice. the majority of them um, came back with the same sort of answers of finasteride stops it, monoxidil helps the regrow. Yeah, yeah. I just took it from there. Nice. You can definitely tell it is working though, because look at your hairline. Like your hairline is full. Mm. You know what I mean? It definitely is working. I think I think this you should be you should get a lot of encouragement from this because like I wouldn't I, I honestly wouldn't have suggested you taking it like this if I didn't think it would work. You know? Yeah. If I didn't think we could make it work and it and it would look and you'd be comfortable with it and it and it would look good, I wouldn't have suggested it, okay? Um because I never suggested you shaving it all off. Because this isn't shaving it all off. This is cutting it down to a short crop. It looks like yeah. it was cut, but it's grown out. That's what I've suggested. Not like, I'll oh, just whip it off, mate. You know, I feel like I can see something that is going to, you can see it's going to come back. I think what you're doing at the moment is good. Because if you stand from this angle here, if you bring, in fact, Liam, could you bring the camera down this way? Here. So like where my eyes are. You can see you've got a full head of hair on the top. You can see all the, like when the light's directly on it, it does look thinner. But from this angle, you can't see it. You know, you can't see it. Do you know what I mean? And I put the powders in, but I think, but I do think that's because you you reversing it. I genuinely mm. think it's because you are reversing it. If you could keep in contact with us, man, like come and see us in a year, I'd love to see what you what the results are. I really would because I, I see results all the time. But I don't know. But people, to be honest, a lot of, a lot of people don't obviously openly talk about this sort of stuff. It's not yeah. it, again. It's again. It's a stigma in it. Men men don't talk. Men, men men keep everything to themselves, which they do. You know what I mean? I'm, I feel like I'm quite, I'm a bit of a I'll talk about these sort of things, but. I'm probably not your, your generic sort of guy, so you know what I mean? I'm obviously in the industry, aren't I, and stuff, so um, I'm happy to talk about these things. If I was suffering from anything or whatever, it wouldn't bother me, but obviously that's completely different because it's me, right? Um, I feel like a lot of guys don't talk like this, so I think if you if you would, like maybe, or, yeah, I'd say, I'd say a year because it takes about eight to nine months for it to really start showing an impact. Um, but if you wouldn't mind, if you stay in, stay in touch with us, mate, and we'll um, love to get you back in and maybe see if the hairstyle, if we can change your hairstyle or whether you kept yeah. this look short, whether you got scouted by a model scout, I don't know, man, you know what I mean? Just remember, if you ever do, don't forget me, all right? <laughs> Put your name don't ever forget me, man, yeah, yeah. Always request for me to be flown out to do your hair in Milan, okay? <laughs> I'll be more than happy You're to there in the shop, mate. You're there in the shop. Um, but no, genuinely, like, it, it'd be, it would be interesting if, you, if you're up for it, mate, you know? Yeah, of course, definitely. Cool. And, you know, also, if you wouldn't mind letting us know as well, just maybe over the next week or so, would you just, just drop us a message and just let us know if, what people thought of this? Yeah. Know? Like, see if you got any compliments, see if people were like, oh, wow, that was cool, you know what I mean, or whatever. Mm. I'd love to know if that would be okay, because I feel yeah, like it would be, or even if, you, if you're a follower, if you're a subscriber of the channel, leave us a comment. Yeah. Let us know what people thought, because yeah. this will probably go out, we're not too sure when this will go out, so, yeah. So I'm just blending this in now. I've done a three at the top just for the transition area, and then I fade it down to a one. But I've done a nice descending blend um, because I feel like it's a lot of softer finish. We're not looking for anything aggressive here. I feel like we just need something to create a new hair, hairstyle more than one particular certain look of the hair. I don't want to be like, wow, you got a nice one fade. I want to be like, oh, that's a, that's a nice haircut. Mm. You know what I mean? So I'm not trying to show, effort, show off anything in particular. I'm just trying to make sure the haircut looks nice all over, you know? We actually, um, we, had a, we, had, we had someone come in, one of our previous videos, who was looking for the perfect buzz cut. And it, people people were quite amazed how you can create face shape with a buzz cut, but you can. It doesn't always have to be really high and tight, you know what I mean? You can still create a bit of shape. So that's what I'm trying to do for, to, for you, Jamie, if I'm honest. I'm trying to still keep that slight corner in there so we haven't yeah. gone too round. Do you know what I mean? Because then it starts to show off your face shape a bit more there. Right, so I'm going to edge up, edge up the uh, hairline now, 
and then I'm gonna give a little once over with the scissors, and then we'll uh, we'll put the powder in. All right. I'm just sharpening off the edges here, make it look nice and neat. I'm not going to shape the, the, the temples or, or anything like that at all. I don't, I'm not looking to try and create that kind of heavy drawn on look. I just want it to look like he's got a short, almost grown out buzz cut. That's what I'm trying to create for, for, for Jamie. I almost feel like if I, if I was to shape the, the temples and everything else, I feel like it would with the fibres on top, I feel like it could look a bit more, a bit almost drawn off, which I don't really want. I think that's defeating the purpose mm. of what we're trying to do, you know? Just strengthening up these side bends here like that. So I'm just going to do a bit of fine tuning now, just with a bit of comb. Hey guys, Dan here. Just while I'm doing this, I just want to give you a quick reminder that Manual have been kind enough to give you a discount on your first hair loss treatment. That's on the screen now and in the description of this video. And I just want to let you know that new episodes of Talk and Hair Loss are coming every two weeks. The playlist will be linked in the description, but make sure you subscribe so you don't miss an episode. There's some great ones coming, now back to me cutting hair. Also on the top. Here we go. Nice. How are you finding that thing? Looks happy with ten, ten times better than what Doesn't it was it? before. Cool. Now, what we're doing is you put your fibers in, okay? And just blasting off some cold air. And all that loose hair. Right, would you have your fibers to yeah. a hand, yeah? So this is how I use them, okay? So I tilt it, I tilt it, tilt it over like this, right? And I tap it like that. And then I tap it and I pat. And I just kind of move around and I pat it again. Because I don't want to look as though it's kind of staying in one place, you know what I mean? And just take my time with it, like that. Just one second. Carry on. That's a better colour. Do it again. What's the difference in this colour? This is a light brown, you've got medium. Yeah. I think light brown's better for you. Right. So, fibers on. That's how I do it. So this is light brown I've gone for, okay? Because I feel like it, it matches in with your hair color much better. Quite blonde. See? Okay. 
and just tap it and pat. Push away the hairline like that. I don't know about you, mate, but you've got no thinner whatsoever by the looks of it. In this distance, mate, whatsoever. I just pat it, just lightly pat it like that. So it doesn't leave marks on the scalp then, but much less noticeable. And now, my friend, is you have a full head of hair again. Amazing, eh? It is quite mental to see after being like five years used to seeing mm. nothing there to go into that. It's quite. Quite a shock, actually. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I thought it would be, mate. I thought it would be because I just I could see it working. If you look at yourself, right, it just looks like you've got a short, short back and sides. Mm. But it works. It suits you. You've got your youth on you because you look younger, so you can get away with a shorter hair quite like this as well. Um, obviously, we're using the fibres, so that works really, really well. Light brown is the colour I used, so you can just grab some light brown ones as well, you know what I mean? And then just get yourself a fibre lock and spray. Lock the fibres in. I'll go in with it. That's it. But you, you look completely different. Wait until you see the before. <laughs> I knew I said this at the start. Yeah. I just knew it. I knew it would look so different. Um, but I think the before and after is going to look incredible for you. I really do. And again, it's just get using bits of the hair that we saw, the fringe. The fringe is what I saw straight away. I was like, the fringe is there. You're already using fibres. I don't have to convince you to use them, so that's easy. Um, but I could see the fringe. I could see I could create a hairline for you. I thought anything after that's going to be easy. So, yeah. Happy? Very happy. Thanks, man. I appreciate you sharing, yeah, you sharing your story as well. Thank you for having me in. Oh, anytime, buddy. Thank you. I've always done, like, when I put fibres on, I'm literally just there, like, chucking them on and then smashing my head just to make sure they stay no, on. No, no, just tap. Just tap and then pat yeah. and spray it. Okay, I'll spray them in a little bit. So, as you can see, the fibres look like they do. They do change everything, don't they, really? But, um, honestly, I do I do believe if you're continuing with this treatment, I, I reckon this is what it'll look like. Give it time, I reckon this is what it'll look like. Don't think I'm going to eat my words on this because I feel like I can already see the growth coming through. Essentially, what happens when you're using fibres, they stick to the hair a lot of the time. And there's, there's not much that's on your scalp. It's mainly sticking to the hairs that are growing through. You see what I mean? You look down, you see bits on the scalp, but a lot of that's touching the hair that's growing through. So that's why I think it will. I would be very surprised if it wasn't. Like I said, I'd love to, love to see if you keep in contact with us and come back and whatnot. But um, I, I can't see why this wouldn't work. I really can't. I predicted the haircut. <laughs> Let's see if I predict the final results anyway. Um, but yeah, keep, keep on it, mate. Keep on it. Especially if there's no side effects. Yeah. Go on. Yeah. All right, man. Thanks very much, buddy. Mate, yeah. anytime. Proper, proper changed. Thanks, man. No, honestly, I'm... It's been I'm... a few years since I can actually walk out with a bit of confidence. And oh, mate, that's amazing. Have my hand on my head and... Yeah. yeah. Oh, mate, that's it's, awesome. It's quite a change. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy. I think I'm glad like, it's a pleasure yeah. to be able to do for you, mate. It really is. keep in touch and... Please do, let man. Let you know what people say and... Yeah, how it goes I'd love, to, I'd love to hear. But I mean, ultimately though, it's about what you feel, right? I know it's it's always nice to get compliments, but it's it's about what what you feel like. And the fact that you've just said that that's 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 all. This is why we're doing this. Yeah, and it really is. It's I not. It's not. It isn't doing, for any other reason, man. What you're doing is brilliant. For Thanks, man. People my age, right up to you know, whoever's yeah. trying to. Well, thank Liam so. as well because it was Liam. Liam, <laughs> Liam was the brainchild behind this idea. I, we always talk, but he was like, no, no, no. I think we should do hair loss. I was like, yeah, I think that's a great idea. So, but yeah, no, I'm I'm I'm, I'm made up. You're happy. And I, I honestly knew. I just knew it would look good. I could just see it and I was like, you're going to see that, you know. It's weird and I can't explain it because I'd love to be able to like explain it to the camera. Yeah. But sometimes you just can't explain these it's things. You just see it and yeah. it's just experience. You just see it and you're like, I know that's going to work. It's just about convincing the person in the chair yeah. that I, I know what I'm talking about. But uh, no, I'm made up for you, honestly. I'm really, I'm really happy that you like it. And I, I, I don't know why you won't get compliments. It suits you so much. I think, you're gonna, I think you'll, you'll go home and have a You know what I mean? What's, what's happened to him? Yeah, where's he come from? Yeah, yeah. No, seriously, I do. I do. I'm made up for you. All the best. Thank you very much. You're welcome, mate. Thank you, man. Take care of yourself, buddy. guys thank you for watching the latest episode of talking hair loss at manual um, if you want to watch some more they're all hopefully on the side here and don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well and see you